And don't you love it? The weather here has been pretty cool lately, but we have a full on Toy Story sky. That's what that's called, a TSS, Toy Story sky. Absolutely. Blue sky, puffy clouds. Mm -hmm. Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Summit. It is Thanksgiving week. It is, and we are having a good time here with friends at the top of Georgia Airstream Park. Yeah, you know, our, this year, 2023, was such a great year for our travels. We've been out so much, all the way out west, and what could be a better way to celebrate Thanksgiving than to be amongst the aluminum? Absolutely, we had such a good time this year, and we're looking forward to also spending, for the first time, Christmas in our Airstream as well. But for now, we're going to show you a little bit about Top of Georgia Airstream Park. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to develop, devolve into a Cooking with Cindy episode, special Thanksgiving edition. Yes, we're going to try out a little recipe with a minor little twist and we'll see how it works out. It's a Thanksgiving classic with a preview right here, real quick, that you can do in your RV. Yeah. As we mentioned before, it's Thanksgiving week and we wanted to do a quasi Cooking with Cindy episode with a recipe that would be fun to cook in your RV and kind of easy as well. And a kind of a twist on the traditional Thanksgiving cranberry sauce dish. And we're gonna do the twist is we're gonna be actually using a mold of a can. So we're gonna see how it turns out. An interesting fun fact is that over 70% of Americans in the United States do prefer their cranberry sauce to come from a can. So we're gonna do that, but we're gonna supply you with a homemade recipe. So our can that we're gonna use as a mold started life off as a can of mushy peas. So we've cleaned it up and we're gonna sterilize it by boiling it in water for five minutes just to make sure that it's all clean and good to go. So let's go ahead and get that going. Get that sterilized. For this recipe, you will need one bag of cranberries, rinsed and sorted for the bad berries, one clean can, one cup of orange juice, one lemon zest, one half cup honey, one quarter cup sugar, one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, and one half cup of water, and one packet of gelatin. Another fun fact is on average, the can of cranberry sauce that you get at the grocery store has about 200 actual cranberries in it. When it starts getting thick and syrupy and your cranberries are nice and tender, it's about ready to strain. So that will be about 20 to 25 minutes and even up to 30 minutes. So just keep an eye on it and when it's ready, we can strain it. No pain, no strain, just let it drain. <laughs> exactly. So once your mixture is strained, you put it back on the stove. We're going to add the sure gel or gelatin to the mixture and let it come to a simmer for a couple minutes. And then we're going to put it into our mold and let it cool before putting it in the fridge. So don't worry if it looks a little clumpy at first. If you keep on stirring, it will eventually break up those little bits and it will get a smooth gelatin finish. So you can see all the powder is broken up and it's all smooth once it comes to a simmer and we'll be about ready to pour it into our mold. So first I'm gonna spray the can with some Pam spray. Yeah, I dispute that, but. Well, we'll see how it goes, right? I'm gonna wipe out any excess. My theory is that once it cools, it'll contract. Okay, we'll see if it works. Water, by the way, expands at a rate of 9% of its volume when it freezes, but everything else contracts. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's see how this goes. Looks like almost the perfect amount. Should I go to the top? Yeah. 
just gonna let that cool there for a couple hours before we can put it in the fridge and let it finish gelling. So for Thanksgiving week, we are staying at top of Georgia Airstream Park in outside of Helen, Georgia. And it is an all Airstream Park. It is actually owned, I believe, by the uh, top of Georgia Airstream Club. So it's kind of a club owned Airstream Park, which is super cool. And if you're a Wally Buy member, you can get a campsite here for $20 a night. You can't beat it. Full hookups, $20 a night. Um, I've got a nice clear view of the sky for Starlink. You can see the pad here. It's you just kind of back up onto it. So a nice concrete little area here. A little for, concrete area for your wheels as well. We are backed up against the creek. Nice little creek. And like I said, the electric at the lower level here is up and functioning and all brand spanking new. So it's great looking stuff. 30, 50 amp, 20 amp. Water was 54 ppm, we're not boosting. As we said, full hookups. So you can't beat that for 20 bucks a night. Right. So we'll be spending uh, Thanksgiving with a bunch of our Airstream friends, which we're very thankful for this yep. year. Should be great. So there's Wally, the campground kitty. Wally's apparently a good mouser. Thanks. Don't go that way. That's going to head to the road. I think he catches birds too, from what I understand. So it's the next day. We're about ready to get our cranberry sauce out of the refrigerator. And so I, I just check the uh, refrigerator thermometer every now and then. We have this nifty little one from Thermoworks. And it's reading about 33 degrees right now. And it was reading 29 this morning. And so I turned it down from three to two. So that's where our current refrigerator setting is right now. This refrigerator hates me though, because it doesn't <laughs> run on propane mm. and it freezes everything on electric. Right. So we'll figure that one out. So we're going to see if our cranberry sauce is now chilled. Should be. Absolutely. Well, I should hope so at 33 degrees. If it's not, this is an epic fail. No, it's good. It's ready to go. So we're going to see if we can get it out of the can without messing it up. So we're going to go ahead and remove the cranberry sauce from its mold. But yet we don't, this is like Tuesday of Thanksgiving week and we're filming this and we're uploading it right after we film it, which we don't normally do. No. Normally, if you watch our last travel video, we were in North Dakota mm -hmm. at a nuclear reactor. Right. And we're usually a couple weeks or months ahead of our filming. Yep. But we thought a Thanksgiving kind of themed video would be fun. Mm -hmm. But so, this is either going to be awesome or it's going to be an epic fail. No, I think it's, it'll either be great or it'll be funny. All right, we'll turn this over to Cindy for the actual demolding. We'll see how it goes. So the first step is going to be to put this can into some hot water. Oops. Let's uh, dump some of that water out. <laughs> Forget about the displacement part of things. There we go. And we're just going to let that sit for a few seconds and see if that helps loosen things up a bit in the bottom. I'm going to use the knife first to loosen it up. Interesting fun fact is the cans for Ocean Spray Cranberry Sauce appear to be upside down, but there's a reason for that because if you open the bottom, there's a air pocket in the top and you loosen it up with your knife and that air pocket will help the cranberry sauce come out of the can smoothly. So we don't have an air pocket, so we'll see how we do. It, it, it continues my theory that there's a fine line between a defect and a feature. And an upside down label there is a feature, not a defect. Come on, we want a good video for Tuesday. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. We'll see. We might need a little bit more force. You want to take over? I'll take over. Because it's loose. Feel it? It's jiggling. Yeah, when all else fails, just use a Leatherman. Poke some holes in it. Okay. Woo! Well, it came out of the can. And it's falling down. <laughs> Excellent. Look at that. 
So a little bit of science to get that air pocket in the bottom. And that's why ocean spray does it with it being inverted. Right. So yeah, I don't know. Comment below as to whether that's an epic fail or an epic success for our homemade canned jellied cranberry sauce. Now we move on to the tasting phase. The tasting portion of this video is going to happen two ways. We're going to assemble turkey sandwiches, which are going to replicate using turkey leftovers the day after Thanksgiving. And we're also going to put a little bit on the side to give it a taste by itself. So we're going to see how it goes. And what's the accompaniment to the turkey sandwich? We're going to be using Duke's mayonnaise. Which I think down south is an actual, I think it's a state law in Georgia. Well, this is basically a southern tradition, I think. You got to use Duke's. So we're going to start assembling our sandwiches. Cuts pretty well. Nice consistency. All right, we're gonna assemble our plates. So as Cindy plates up our lunch, you can see we are using Lennox Bone China plates, and this is part of our experiment to travel with Lennox Bone China plates in an RV. So far, we have 13,047.6 miles traveling with bone china plates without a single breakage. Correct. These are for Christmas. All right, now for the ultimate test. Does it taste good? I would I think hope so. he's gonna taste first. I would hope so. I'll have to say from a texture standpoint, it's not quite as firm as the canned variety. Right. Mmm, it's good though. How's it for sweetness? It's good, it's actually perfect. Not too sweet and not too sour. Actually, I'd say the texture is actually pretty good because it's just, it doesn't, it, it's, it's like a cross between a uh, cranberry, like smashed jelly and, and the pure jelly that you get in the jar. I think right. the texture is pretty good. Yeah. What do you think of the taste? Hmm. It's quite good. Shall we taste Let's it? taste it with the cranberry sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. Bar. Mm. So there you have it. Your way to make your own canned cranberry sauce. In your RV. Homemade. Cindy and I would like to thank everybody who watches. Mm -hmm. A very happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you're with your family and yep. friends and loved ones. Yep. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next Tuesday. So if you like this video. Give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, click the subscribe. And comment below if you have ever tried homemade cranberry sauce and how it worked for you. Or if you're going to make this. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.